Out here with uh, Marcus Page, and uh, Marcus, just a terrific basketball game. Tell us uh, what it was like to be a part of that as a player. Oh, it was crazy. You know, that's the most intense the Dean Smith Center has been since I've been here. Uh, you know, both teams brought a lot of energy, a lot of talent on the floor, and you know, a lot, a lot of great plays were made, especially down the stretch by both teams. So it was, it was just fun to be a part of. You made a lot of great plays in the second half. Tell us about that little floater, though, on the on the left baseline when you got it over the top of uh, Collie Stein. Yeah, I mean, we work, especially myself and Nate, we work on that shot all the time because, you know, it's hard to get all the way to the rim at this level, especially with someone athle as athletic as him. So after it left my hand, I kind of just prayed it was going <laughs> to drop and he wasn't going to block it. But, you know, I just saw an opening and, you know, I've, I've hit some floaters before, so I was hoping it was going to work out. Working through all the foul trouble in the, in the second half with the team, not you necessarily, but mm -hmm. your teammates, how did you guys kind of keep your Focus and still play defense with the fouls. I mean, it's tough because uh, you know their guards do a great job of using their body. You know, they're, they're a big team, so they try to use their size to, to get you in foul trouble. But you know, the next guy up just part, uh, went hard. You know, Jackson came in, gave us some quality minutes. Uh, guys just decided we got to dig in and play defense if we want to if we want to close this game out. You guys knew this schedule early was going to be tough. Did did you think though, Louisville, Michigan State, Kentucky, that you could get all all of these so far? Well, I thought so, but but realistically, <laughs> right answer. That's the yeah, correct answer. Of course, no. Realistically, you you look at that and you say, you know, there's going to be some games with my struggle. It's gonna, it's early in the year. Uh, those teams are older and more experienced than us, or except for Kentucky. Um, but at the same time, you know, you think that when you play well, these are great challenges, and they give you a lot of confidence if you can grab a couple. Sure. And we've been fortunate to get every single one so far. How'd exams go? They were all right. <laughs> you know, we made it through. Uh, you know, my GPA should. Shouldn't have fell too hard, so I'll be all right. You excited for just a couple of weeks of basketball now before the second semester starts? Yeah, it's great to just you know relax a little bit, you know, be able to just focus on weights and basketball, hanging with the teammates because there's really no one else in town. So it'll be fun to just you know get to hang out with our guys and play play a lot of basketball. Next time up, another big time game. Texas coming to the Smith Center on Wednesday. Marcus, thank you for your time. Congratulations on a terrific game. All right, thank you. Uh, just a rookie playing a couple big games here so far, freshman. Uh, just tell us about kind of how things have gone for you so far here first. Uh, uh, nine, ten games of your season? Um, I think things have been up and down. You know, the two losses to UAB and Belmont and then the, the three big ones that we had against Louisville, Michigan State in this game. So um, I'm just glad I've been able to be a part of the team. It, it seems like we even talked about it a little bit on the air today that the big time opponents, you, you seem to up your game a little bit. Do, do you kind of feel that when you're on the floor? Um, I do feel that. I think that's that's been a a good thing and a bad thing for me throughout high school is that I kind of have a ability of a tendency of playing to the level of my competition. So it's just me trying to be consistent more often. Just nine turnovers for the team today. How important was that? Um, that was big. Uh, that was one of the, one of the emphasis coach told us uh, before the game. It was that um, pushing the ball in transition, getting back in transition, um, and being tough on the boards. I know being a freshman point guard at Carolina isn't easy, and I know you're probably playing a little bit more than you expected to right now. Has it been tough to try to learn everything and absorb everything and still play well? Um, it has been tough, but I have guys like Marcus teaching me and helping me out along the way, Bryce, JP. Um, PJ and Leslie have been helping me out a lot too on and off the court. So uh, when I have those guys helping me out, I think it's been a lot easier transition than what it would be if they weren't here. What was that atmosphere like today in the Smith Center? Uh, it was great. I don't think this is my first experience with a big crowd like that. Um, and all the fans were really into it, so I had fun tonight. That's Nate Brick, guys, part of the winning effort for the Tar Heels. Nate, congratulations on the win, and we'll talk to you on Wednesday. Thank you very much.